today's video, I'm gonna talk about bulking for a short amount of time. So in the last video, I talked about bulking for too long. Now I'm gonna talk about not bulking long enough. So bulking too short. So most people, they bulk for too long, but most people, but the other, the other side of the spectrum, there are people who don't bulk long enough. And the reason behind that is those are people who mostly have been fat all their lives. Then they got lean with a cut and then they start bulking and they are scared of the fat gain. Now I did videos on bulking, lean bulking and not being scared to put on a little bit of body fat. Definitely check those out. I go into more detail, but just as much as you shouldn't bulk for too long, you shouldn't keep your bulk too short because mus gaining muscle mass is a mu much more complicated process than losing fat. So it's going to take a lot longer to put on a significant amount of muscle mass. Like if you bulk for a whole year, you can put on five to 10 kilograms of muscle, which is about 10 to 20 pounds. And you know, you gotta do everything right for a whole year, a year of bulking. And a lot of people are just scared about putting on body fat. And this is the solution, just bulk. But don't dirty bulk guys, do a lean, clean bulk, clean healthy foods, adding in a few cheat meals a week. Only two to 300 calories over maintenance and just do that for a year. And you're not gonna gain more body fat than probably 10 to 15 pounds. And that's in a whole year. And after that, you're gonna cut and to lose 10 to 15 pounds, it's gonna be about 10, 15 weeks, man. Even less, you know, about 10, 15 weeks, which is not that much which is only about three months. So you should definitely do a lean bulk compared to a dirty bulk. That's the first solution. Good, only two to 300 calories over maintenance. And then you just have to accept the body fat, you know, because every time you gain weight, every time you put on muscle mass, the, every time you put on any type of weight, even if you're doing everything correctly, it's gonna be a mix of both muscle mass, body fat, and water weight. It's gonna be those three things mixed up in your weight gain. So how much of that is gonna be muscle? You know, if you're doing everything correctly, a large portion is gonna be muscle, a small portion is gonna be body fat, and a small portion is gonna be a water weight, okay? So the real solution is you just have to suck it up and just you know accept the body fat because it's not healthy and it's not good to be shredded all year i did a video on that too check it out but you know the optimum body fat to stay around for the whole year is about you know 12 to 15. you know maybe let's say 10 to 15 okay but under 10 percent body fat it's not healthy to stay at that range all year long so and that's why you should just enjoy the bulk, you know, gain, focus on gaining strength and gaining muscle, improving your lifts in the gym, you know, eating good quality, healthy foods, you know, a lot of calories, a lot of good proteins, good carbs, and just, you have to accept the body fat. You know, you can't, if you are serious about putting on muscle mass, then you have to accept the body fat. If you can't accept gaining body fat, then I'm sorry, but you can't put on muscle mass because it comes with the muscle. You know, with any type of muscle, it's gonna be also a little bit of body fat. But if you do a clean, lean bulk, you're gonna minimize that. So it's not gonna even be that significant at the end of the year. It's maybe gonna make you a little bit soft, maybe you're gonna lose your abs, but if you keep it lean, you're still gonna look good. You're still gonna look great after that year of bulking because when you put on muscle mass, you're gonna look better. 
when you put on muscle, you look leaner and better. So that body fat is probably not gonna even, even be that significant. So that was it for this video, guys. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and definitely subscribe. Peace out.